Candy. Candace. I know you hear me calling you. Come here. Where's my mom's photos? And where have you been? Candy, stop playing with me. Where are my mom's photos, yo? <laughs> so, not only did I call Michelle, right? Mm-hmm. But I called your father as well. And guess what they both said, Brian? They both said you didn't come by last night. So where were you then? Hmm? Yo, Candace, my stuff better not be broke. Excuse you? <laughs> what you think you're doing? Man, stop playing with me. Move, Candace. I'm about to get my stuff. Brian, excuse you. You can stay right there. And you can take your stuff <laughs> and go. Really, Candace? Over some petty little lies. <laughs> Brian, if it's not petty, tell me where you were last night. Oh, come on. Man. Exactly. That's what I thought. So get your bags and leave. You can't make me leave, Candace. I can't make you leave. Whose name is on the lease? Say it. Candace Brown. Okay? So you need to get up out of my house that I pay the rent for. And you need to go before I make somebody leave you. Did you did you hear me? Or is something going on? You know, as a matter of fact, get my keys. Hurry up. So that's what you really doing, huh? <laughs> get out of my house, Ryan. Get your bags and go. This is the last time I'm going to say it. After five years, Candy. <laughs> Don't give me that, Ryan. Okay? Because I done did everything for you after five years. And what did you do? You did Michelle. You did a baby. And you're going to do Nicole. And I already said that was the last time. So get your bags and go. You pay rent. I'm gonna be back tomorrow to get the rest of my stuff. Back where tomorrow? Your stuff will be in a bag at your dad's house, where you're always at with baby Michael, right? Yeah, exactly. Leave my place. All I know is my mother's stuff better not be broken when I get back, Candy. Brian. All I know is, you need to get out of my house. Yeah, go ahead. It's Candace. Please go ahead. Go ahead, close my door. And don't slam it. I've been thinking about you a lot lately, and uh, the other night I even had a dream about me and you. <laughs> and how uh, we spent our day together, you know, just having fun and vibing. <laughs> know me, I don't remember my dreams like that, but <laughs> this one, I don't know. It keeps playing in my head over and over and over again. I keep hearing your voice in my head. I, I found him who my soul loves, loves, and I, I held him, him and when I let him go. go. Anyway, look. I, I need to stay with you just for a little bit. Um, 
my roommate situation getting too too crazy, and uh, I think I just need to walk away. Um, and also, I, I ain't tell you this before, but um, I didn't want to bring everything down. Uh, but my mother just passed away, uh, so it's been a lot. You know, it's like that poem. <laughs> you really have been my most intimate listener. Look, I know you're at work right now, and um, hopefully I can come see you once you get off. Maybe. Uh, call me back when you get this, all right? Bye. Am I bobbing this out? No, God. Here's what you got to realize is you can have your eyes open for your life partner. You can have your eyes open for them and you may meet your life partner under the age of 25. I married my wife at 23. Um, I had just turned 23. So basically, you know, 22 in the 22 I had just turned 23 I had only been 23 for three weeks so I was still young I met her at 21 at 21 when I met her a two or three months in I ran her off and we were apart for six months she called it a break but I think really she was done we just so happened to link back up six months later